Hello, I'm Tesla and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now in this one, we're going to be taking a look at sound cues and how we can manipulate audio all within the Unreal Engine 4. So with that, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is grab some custom audio. Or maybe you just want to use the starter content. And once you bring it in, you're going to see these icons just here. Now these are the raw audio files. But you also see in the starter content just here, we have the sound cues. Now a sound cue is basically a blueprint for audio. So this is what we're going to be creating. So I've got my own custom sound effects, I've got some grenade explosions and some gunshots. So I'm just going to use this gunshot just here. I'm going to use gunshot 2, I'm going to right click it and create a cue. Now we've created our sound cue, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it named as that. Now we can open it up and you see it's just like the blueprint editor. We've got some nodes and we've got some connections between them so we can begin to add some logic to our audio files. So it just sounds like this, regular. Now we can begin to manipulate that and change the pitch and volume every time I'm clicking there or every time it's called in the world. So to do that, we'll drag our output and grab a modulator. And we'll connect these up. Now we, you see we have these pitch settings and volume settings. So I'm going to change the pitch minimum to 0 0.7 and pitch maximum to 1.5. Now every time I click play, it's changing their pitch randomly and sending it to the output. So it's really easy to create um, unique sound effects just from one base file. So we've got this compared to this. So that's really helpful. So let's say we've got multiple audio files and every time you enter a box trigger, we want it to call um, different audio files. So we can do that. We can come to grenades. Just here, I'm gonna right click create Q and I'm going to drag all these in. Now what we need to do is grab a random node. So we'll drag um, the output out from one of these, select random and you see we, we haven't got a third input for our third sound effect so to add an input we'll just right click the random node and add input. Okay. So if you're just using the starter content, maybe you just want to grab the the different explosion sounds and maybe a collapse sound or something. Okay, so now every time I press play Q, you see it's just selecting them at random. Now we have um weights here. Now you can change the weight, so if we change it to zero point one and this to 1.5 basically grenade 3 is going to be called a lot more than grenade 1 so if you've got loads of sound effects it's good to um, you add in like just a unique sound effect that's barely called so you can find examples of this in the bl blueprint office example where they have the security camera they have um, footsteps and you can see exactly how they set up the footstep sound effects so take a look at that so let's um, call this with a box trigger we're just going to drag out this box trigger. Okay, and now I'm just going to come into a level blueprint, give it some simple logic. We'll right click, add event, collision, act to begin overlap, drag this one out and just type in audio, and we want play sound at location. So we have grenade 1Q, it's called. So I'm going to drag this down, just type in grenade. There we go, you see we have grenade 1Q. Okay, so every time I'm going to enter this, it's going to use that sound cue and it will um, randomly select the audio file. And again, we can actually add a modulator after the random node to make it even more unique. So let's change this to 0 0.7 and 1.5 again. So you can easily create loads of different sound effects and give them some logic using the sound cues 
and just make them all unique. So thanks a lot for checking out this tutorial. I hope it helps with a little introduction to sound cues and make sure you stay subscribed for any future tutorials. Cheers guys.